Alright, this is going to be the tutorial for how to make your um, patterns in, um, and using the Adobe Illustrator. So, uh, a couple of things, um, you know, when we do your play card designs, you have to um, implement either uh, two or three different patterns in, in the um, play card designs. If we do like a Google search on, you know, play card design, <coughs> And if we're kind of basing it off of like the original play cards, like you know, one thing we found really interesting was like the patterns or like um, repeated shapes that you see in the um, designs on certain parts. So um, I do really want you guys to incorporate um, you know, at least two or three patterns in your play card designs. Now, in order for us to do this, um, a good way to get started is just type in patterns on Google search and this is going to give you like a better idea of like what kind of patterns you want to do. Now some patterns are really simple where it's just like a repetition of shapes like right here is a repetition of triangles. Uh, this one's of uh, lines here. And then you have more challenging ones where they're more organic or um, they're very different in a lot of places. So, uh, you know, just for um, time sake you probably don't want to well, you know do a pattern like this you want to try to find something that's more like a repeated shape over and over again <clears throat> and um, you know I'll just pick out like some patterns that would go well with um, you know the, the play card that you're doing your design because you look up here there's a lot of different types of patterns you can you know look for or choose that may go really well with your um, your play card Alright, but um, yeah, find either two or three of them, and if you want, you can grab these images as the references. Um, I actually just sketched out mine that I wanted to use, and you can also sketch it out. It's up to you. Um, I usually like sketching out things to get like a better idea of how I'm going to create it. But I'm going to show you how to make this design here and that design, maybe the hearts one. But they're really easy in um, Illustrator. Um, Illustrator do so. You need to file new, just make a new document. And uh, primarily, we're going to be using the um, the shape tool to um, do these things. Um, you know, one option is um, you know if you want to, you can um, I can scan your drawings or or you can pull the image to you know do your tracing. Um, that's one option, or you can just like free draw your um, your shapes. Like uh, I'm going to do this one right here. And basically, if you're not going to use the pencil, you really want to utilize this shape tool here. So you got like a rectangle, around your rectangle tool, ellipse, polygon, a star. And you don't want to use the flare tool because the flare tool doesn't really do much. So, so I'm just going to primarily just work in uh, black and white right now. I'm going to take away the stroke. So you know, I'm just going to make a box here. And all I'm doing right now is just making lines right here. So repeated lines. So remember, you make you make one box here. Um, command C to copy. Command V to paste. And then you kind of create like a um, stripe pattern here. So you, know, you can do the same thing with your highlight. Both these command C, copy, paste. Command V to paste it. And you just want to line up these things. And the nice thing about uh, sometimes you may need to use the arrow keys to line things up. So I want to make this a little bit small, so I'm just highlighting the whole thing, just holding the shift key, dragging the corner. You know, my mouse is acting kind of funny. Uh, it's just this computer's, uh, I, I was supposed to reboot it, but yeah. So let me copy this one more time. I, I, got, I did command C to copy, command V to paste. C as in cat, V as in valentine. So, you know, I got a pattern here. Then now I'm going to repeat this again, command C to copy, command V to paste. And I'm going to drag the corner and rotate it. So now I got that checkered pattern that we was trying to get. All right, now this checkered pattern went a little too far. I'm going to actually drag this corner down here, drag this one over here, and then do the same thing over here with these sides. So I'm going to drag this down here so it's lined up with that. And drag this over here. So probably you want to try to get into a box of how you want the patterns to look. And then I'm going to just rotate this to the at an angle. Oops. 
It's hard to find where the rotate is. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So now we got my patterns here. Alright, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make these different colors. So I'm going to make this one red. Oops. Not red like that. So you want to click on that. That's going to highlight that part. Make that red. Yeah, I'm going to use the same red. And it's a good idea to use the swatches. So you can go Windows, Swatches, and then it should pull up your colors. So I'll make this one red here. So all these are going to be red. I'm just, I'm just holding the shift key so they're all highlighted. So that's going to be red. These are going to be... Um, select that one. So it's going to be like a... Um, I'm going to get an orange. Oops, forgot that one. Orange. Actually, it's that orange. Okay. So, you know, now we got our pattern here. And then if you want to as well, you can make it transparent. That way, if you make it transparent, it will blend in the colors a little bit more. So I can do Windows, Transparency, and change transparency to 50%. So now it's kind of like, like a see-through in between the, um, the colors. So, you know, this is like a pattern that I'm going to use later. I'm going to actually resize this, make it smaller. Alright, so this is going to be a pattern I'm going to use. I'm actually going to group it together. So I'm going to do Command G as in game to group it together. Alright, so we're just going to put that aside. That's going to be one pattern I may use. And uh, the circle one, the okay, circle one is pretty easy too to do. You're going to use the ellipse tool. The same thing we did before. We're going to all use the same colors just to keep it simple. So I'm going to use this yellow here. Command C, copy paste. Command C, cat, Command V. So a lot of these shapes is you know just copy and pasting because you're going to reuse a lot of these shapes again. And um, you know, I'm just going to put another color here. I'm just I just made it smaller, so I hold I held the sh I held the shift key and I uh, moved it over. So here are my swatches disappear. So swatches. I get this red color here. So you know I'm repeating this over and over again. And you know you really want to copy paste what you've done because that's going to make it much easier to make your shapes or patterns. So I'm make it smaller here. I got another one there. Use this again. Holding shift, dragging down the corner. Uh, you know, you just keep repeating this until you get the pattern you want. You know, resize if you need to. This one got a little too big. I think that's kind of interesting. Let me make this one a little bit smaller. Right, use an arrow key to line up. And what's nice about this Illustrator is everything kind of auto snaps when you um, when you do. I'm, and I'm gonna do like one more yellow in the middle here. So yeah, that, that's my pattern. So I'm gonna do make this smaller. And that's another pattern that I can use. Here, I'm gonna get really small. Maybe I might want to do like, uh, you know, repeating this over here. Get smaller though. I don't know. Maybe I might want to put one there. Another one here. The only thing is, I gotta line these up perfectly. You know, you want to make some interesting patterns for these. Make this whole thing smaller. Do command G. That's like a pattern you can use. And then if you want to make the oh, I wanted to make that one. That's right. So let me reuse this one again. I'm just gonna pull out these circles again. So if you want to do like a half a circle, like you, you're gonna have to utilize the. Um, uh, Pathfinder tool. So you can go to Windows, uh, click on Pathfinder. So we kind of dabbled a little bit with the Pathfinder, but you can use the Pathfinder to um, uh, cut things out or you know get rid of things, or you can use it to merge things too. So I'll make a box here, and this box is going to cut the picture in half. So 
when I highlight the box, these two things, and I click on not that one. It's one of these. I think it's a trim button. You can click on trim. Not trim that out. So then you can, you can click on that one with the uh, direct selection tool. You can hit the delete, and that's going to cut that in half. But yeah, look at what these say, these things say. So when I overlap those two things again, two shapes, it's going to trim the uh, what's on top. So that's basically what happens. I'm going to use the direct selection tool to delete that. And then from there, you can make your um, uh, repeated shapes. So you know, I'm going to do this one. Command G. C group it. Command C. Command V. And then you can make your shapes and designs. So, you know, do you realize the copy paste? It'll make your life so much easier. Whoops. And uh, I'm going to control click, arrange, send it back. So it's going behind it. Actually, uh, let me go back. I still only want to get two of them. So I want to put these behind on this part here. Yeah, that's how you gotta make your patterns though. You know, really do utilize the tools in Illustrator. It'll make things so much easier. And you know, if you have any questions on doing certain things on Illustrator, you can always ask me for help on that. You know, let me know. Yeah, a lot of it's just copying and pasting right now. And grouping things together. Try to group this together. Command G. And yeah. Oh yeah, this is like a really interesting pattern I got here, but.